Welcome to the garden. These are the leaves of a wild plum. They remind me a bit of birch. They're kind of ovate, heavily serrated, with pretty deep teeth, and they come to a nice fine point. They're slightly fuzzy on the underside. They're nice and soft and smooth and shiny on the top. They have a kind of a gray purple bark and beautiful red fruit. These do ripen up kind of black and purple, but then they quickly turn. They usually get this like fungus type stuff on them. So I like to pick them when they're still kind of red. Look at all those beautiful fruit. They're just incredible. So I might try and find a perfectly ripe one. I just bit into this yellow one and it's actually really, really good. It's incredibly sweet. Mm. I just love plums. They are a stone fruit, so they've got a really large pit in the middle, like a peach. But I'm going to work on this one. And we'll see if we can save the seed and plant it next to our other one. Now the skins can be a little sour, but it's that interior flesh. When they're not ripe, it's a little bitter. But when they're ripe, it's juicy and sweet. Oh, look at that. Mm. Mm. The pit just sucked right out. And now we can plant that in the garden. What a lovely fruit. And to just be growing wild, that is incredible. The leaves will grow alternate on the stem. So you get one on the right, then one on the left, one on the right, one on the left, all the way down. The tree bark is fairly craggy. It can be darker on the outside and a little bit lighter when it splits open. These trees are very short. This one here is only about 20 feet tall, which really isn't much. There's not much to them. They flower really early in spring in these beautiful white blooms just all over the plant. They smell really beautiful, and then they produce these plums. The plums don't ripen up till much later, later in summer, even into autumn. And they should be a nice, beautiful red with golden flesh on the inside. They're incredibly sweet. The skin is a little bit tart. I'm actually going to try the shake test. So I'm going to grab the tree. Oh my god! Wow, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna pick up a dozen fruit here. <laughs> Holy cow, that was crazy. I really didn't expect so many to fall. That was amazing. So we've got some red ones here. This one's just starting to turn purple. Wow, all of these are perfectly ripe. So I'm gonna grab every one that I can find that was for sure shaken down by us. Some of those, I think, are a little old. Wow, I really didn't expect so many to fall. <laughs> that was so great. So if you're going to do that, <laughs> be ready. They really come tumbling down. Ooh, that one looks perfect right there. That is gorgeous. So one little tree like this, and this is a fully grown tree. They do not get very large. It can produce thousands and thousands of flowers and probably thousands of fruit. There's more on this tree than I've ever seen on any other tree. These are stunning. So 
so I hope you keep an eye out for wild plums. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.